cannot stress enough how unlikely it is this will be like a huge playthrough or anything. If, if this is like remarkably one of my more popular things, I guess I'll keep playing it. But as is, I can really only see myself making some characters and then fooling around with them for a bit. Let's get started on the women. We can't all be... well. It's getting the right idea. What is this? Breast set. Really? How noticeable is it? Jesus, that looks completely wrong. It looks like you stapled tits to a woman. That's... absolutely... Also, since two of the people I'm making are women, and I don't... I have to repeat, this isn't going to be a statement on you, so you'll forgive me if I don't get your breast size perfectly accurate. But, uh, I'm pretty sure neither of you have torpedo knockers like this. So, uh... Yeah... We're gonna... we're gonna scale that down quite a bit for this first one. Uh... Sure, it's hard to tell under the athletic outfit, but that's about right. Uh, this one's going to be Miss Killer, or girl if she prefers, and Kaida, which I'm praying I spelled that right. I'm a moron, so we'll never know. But, you know, that's... Uh, that doesn't look a thing like her. Yep, she's clearly... She's she's a tumble ward. Mm -hmm. That Kaida. She is not. She is a beanpole. Uh, she's also shorter than the rest of us, but this game doesn't have a height slider, so I can't really do anything about that. Uh, I mean, in terms of body, that's about right for Kaida. Except for the height, of course. Uh, haircut, haircut, haircut. I have seen her wearing hats like that. No, I want hair, not hats, damn you. Uh, not quite. She doesn't have a braid. Ah, there we go. Yep, that's her hair. <laughs> that is actually her hair. That's a little un uncanny. Is there, like, a dirty blonde we can go with? Uh, do I not have advanced options for hair? Ugh. Ugh. No. How about no? Uh, it kind of... No, that just looks awful. Screw it. I'll, that's... I don't know Sims 3. That's the best hair you're gonna get. I can't give her a beard? Well, then what's the point, I ask you? Let's work on this face. Make it more kaida like No. Yeah, Close-ish. No. Whoops. Mm, that's not bad. Yep, she has a huge chin. Look at that. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Yeah, no, that's that's probably the best I'm gonna get. Eyes. Uh, yeah, what color are eyes? I should know that. Uh, I'm colorblind. That's my excuse. Maybe green. I think. She wears glasses. I know that. God, now she's gonna be able to yell at me for getting her name and face wrong. Uh, she kind of has wide eyes, to be perfectly honest. Maybe it's the glasses that do that, but I've always seen her as having wide eyes. Nose, I as long as it's not giant, I really don't care. Same with lips, and uh, facial marks, and tattoos, and makeup, and all that. I think with the exception of eyeliner, she doesn't wear any makeup, and even that I'm not sure about. Um, outfit, what's something she actually wears? There's t-shirts on here. I'm not seeing any t-shirts on here. Yeah, yeah, she constantly wears this. Yep, that's her. The, uh, midriff vest. She would probably love wearing something like this or like this, to be perfectly honest. She'd probably be all over that. But I'm trying to make this realistic, so... We got t-shirts. Which are gonna be both women, for that matter. Uh, maybe. Kinda. There's a woman's t-shirt. Is that really the best I can do for woman's t-shirt? What other... Alright, we have some styles here. Would she wear... Yeah, she would wear that. Oh, yeah, it's got a dragon on it. She'd totally wear that shit. I'm calling that good enough. The only problem is... Well, actually... I say that, but I can uh, fix this issue, can't I? Can I adjust the sleeves and the neck and the collar and all that? 
Yeah, that's that's what she would wear. Her mouth is too big. I need to correct that. That's gonna bother me. And now my dad's texting me. I didn't really notice that her mouth was that big. That is too big a mouth. That only made it worse. It's not that wide is the problem. The lips aren't the issue. Can I... Upper lip settings. Width. Oh, that's that. Um, thickness? How do I reduce the, like, length? Why can't I reduce the length? Oh, there we go. Width. She has a way smaller mouth than that. That's... Oh, she looks like... It looks open, you know? Like her mouth is open and weird. That just doesn't look right to me, you know? A lower lip thing? It's a little better. Sure. Ah! Every time I look in the mirror, it's so soulless. Yeah, that's that's all right, I guess. Uh, give her glasses, because she does wear glasses. She absolutely 100% wears glasses. She wears some jewelry sometimes. Uh, these are all kind of like... Ner yeah, like, she wears glasses, but they're not that thick. I guess maybe that. Can I get like that, but in black? Yeah, that's about right, honestly. Pants are all wrong. She wears, where are they? That's more like it. Yeah, that's, that's a kind of look. She would wear that belt too, honestly. Doesn't need the belt, but she would wear it, just because it's a cool belt. <laughs> eh, my dad. Uh, formal wear? As it does. Yeah, no, not in a hundred million years. She would kill me if I confirmed that, honestly. That is the trampiest thing I've ever seen. And she also, she still seriously needs the glasses, guys. I can't stress that enough. I've seen her without glasses a few times. Honestly, glasses are just a better look for her. I'm sorry, Kaida, but it's true. Maybe it's just because I've seen her in glasses so much, I think that. I don't know. But yeah, that is not the formal way we're going with. Honestly, ugh, God. She'd probably be fine. Ooh. I was going to say, she would actually be okay if I gave her, like, a suit. Like a men's or, like, a woman, you know, pants suit. The Renaissance stuff she would absolutely go for, but uh, I'm not willing to spend money. Uh, so instead, I'm going to go with what I know she will like, and that's the fucking pimp suit. The nice fluffy collar. I hate those shoes, though. Well, she might be able to tolerate those shoes. She's more of a... that's more her style, I think. But yeah, I think Kaido would wear a puffy coat. For sleep, yeah. You know what, I'm just gonna call that good enough. Uh, workout? Eh, I think she wears the bubble shirt. Or the bubble coat, actually. And, uh, regular ass pants. Yeah, I think that's her workout outfit. <laughs> Not the shades, obviously, though. Come on, guys. What's wrong with you? Turtleneck, huh? That's, uh, alright. Like I said, I mean, she probably doesn't wear glasses to sleep. We can't all be Nathan, can we? Uh, swimwear. Uh, I don't know. That might be fine. What's this one look like? Eh, she'd probably prefer that one, to be perfectly honest. Is there, like, a sensible outfit for swimming? Why is it like a tank top? That's weird to me. Eh, just go with that. Sure. Why not? Let's get her out of it. I hate leaving it on the uh, swimsuits and such. Let's let's put her in the formal outfit. She'd like that. Yep, she would totally wear that. 
she'd rock that too. Uh, let's see, I have to give her dislikes children, because... I, I joke I dislike children. Personally, I, I totally see myself. I feel like I've, I've been meant to be a father my entire life with my sense of humor and just my build and attitude and mindset. I'm never going to have a kid, naturally. I might adopt one day. But I feel like I've sort of been meant to be a father. I don't particularly care for babies. I'm fine with, like, kids provided they're polite and quiet. Uh, she hates children. Okay? Like, no exceptions. Very few exceptions. I should I should make that clear. If the child is cute and not real, she likes it. So there's a few, like, anime things. Anime girls she likes. Very few boys. I can only think of one anime child boy she ever cared for. It's mostly the little anime daughters she likes. Uh, what is she? Uh, couch potatoes, fair. Evil, absolutely. <laughs> I've seen her do that. It's terrifying. Uh, uh, grumpy, not really. She's just kind of meh. Heavy sleeper, absolutely. I'm up at like 5 or 6 in the morning, sometimes 7 at the latest, because I got shit to do. Her, on the other hand, lucky if she's up at noon, unless she has work. Then she'll drag herself out of bed, but good luck ever talking to her. Uh, she's definitely a loner. I'll give her that. I don't know if she's bummed about being a loner. She just hates other people most of the time. And doesn't hate. It's more just awkward around them. Uh, a snob. Schmoozer. Really good at befriending co-workers. Not even. Uh, that's not her. She's certainly not neat. She doesn't mooch. Uh, I'm the mean-spirited one. I don't think she cares about the outdoors. Uh, I shouldn't make her a klepto if she's gonna be living with four other people. She's already an evil. I don't need adding klepto to her. Uh, I'll just give her couch potato. Uh, actually, I'll give her bookworm. She likes reading. Wait, was that... I thought I gave her... Oh, I didn't add it. Okay. Bookworm. There you go. Uh, author, Emperor of Evil. She wouldn't mind being author, gold digger, star news anchor. Emperor of Evil might be correct, honestly. Uh, of these... God, what would she want, actually? She'd like to live in the lap of luxury, but... Much like all of us, she doesn't want to work for it. Can't blame her. Uh, I'm just gonna make her Emperor of Evil. I mean, look at look at this outfit. Can I give her a hat while she's fancy? Is that an option? Accessories. Oh, I can give her ooh. I can give her evil gloves. I think I will do that actually. I can give her striped socks. Ha! <laughs> ah, she would wear those too. Just for fun, though, she wouldn't actually wear them to a formal event. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on the socks, but I'm keeping the evil gloves on her because she would wear those to match the uh, outfit. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of killer. Oh wait, shit. Uh, lobster Thermidor. I thought that was sushi. There's sushi. She likes Japanese food. Uh, anything better? Maybe she likes dim sum. I can't remember. Sorry if you like dim sum kaida, but I'm just gonna say you like sushi. Uh, there's no metal, so pa custom. No, I hate picking that. Electronica, I guess. Every color, black. That's not bad actually for a voice. Alright, so that's kaida. That's actually not terrible in terms of face. And, uh, I think that personality is... Oh, right. Uh, Scorpio, I think. Just because I know her birthday's in October, and I think that's... Ah, it's either Libra or Scorpio. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt and say Scorpio. I know I'm Sagittarius, and that's it. I know Nathan's in July. I don't know when the fuck that is. And I know this last person's in February. And again, I also don't know what the fuck that is. I think that's... This one? Aquarius? I don't know. 
I don't buy into that nonsense. But, uh, yeah, that's... That's Kaida. She looks great. Can't wait for her to be evil. Let's make one last... Oh, I can play with... All right. Uh, one of us can have a kid now. Because uh, I've added a female to the mix. I hope I had create sim and not play with genetics. We got one more woman coming into our life. Well, I mean, I got it again. Uh, this is probably the one I know least about how they look. And that's compared to Fal and Nathan. So, first of all, let's make it... There we go. There we go. So, first name Soot, last name Cat. That makes sense. Uh, I, I know nothing about her, how she looks in real life. I kind of have to base this on comic her, or what she's drawn. I mean, obviously I've seen pictures of her in real life, but, uh, you know, much like Nathan and Fowl, not terribly much. Even though with Nathan, I remembered it immediately. <laughs> Nathan, the other one, I forgot that. Uh, the other one. Um... Uh, I don't really. I'm not. I'm not really. I'm just gonna leave that one in the middle and call it a day. I'm gonna. I think that's more or less what I did with Kaida. Let me double check. Nah, it's low. I. I'm, I'll, I'll help Kaida out a little bit there. Eh, even that. It's like the slider. Boy, it's really all or nothing with this slider, because there's like this whole beginning chunk here where it doesn't even look like it's moving. And then it's BAM! Poke an eye out. Uh, sure, we'll call it that. That, that looks about the same to me, even though I think I've moved the slider significantly. With no key... I'm just gonna go middle of the road and hope that's about right there. I'm gonna kinda go... I know Noki's not the most athletic person, none of us are, except for Nathan, of course, he's ripped. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave that there. Again, not a statement on you, this is more about personalities. Noki Kisa. Okay, I was making sure I spelled it right. Uh, I'll just assume that's good. The hair's right already, I just need to change the color. Not that blonde. Oh god, I need to do this again. It's a darker... There we go. That's that's what I was looking for. It's a darker blonde than that. That's closer to right. Is there a slightly better hairstyle? God, no. No. Eh. Eh. God damn, the demon faces. That's not terrible. Certainly not. No. Naturally. God, please never, Noki. I love you, but God. Never, never, oh, I don't get the rose either. You know I hate, uh, I hate the, like, half hairstyles where half the head is, like, I don't, I don't mind all shape. Like, going bald, like, fine, all right, you like, it's, you do you. But, like, the hairstyles where half of it's gone and the other half is a different style, it's like, eh, I hate those. That's the closest I'm gonna get for Noki's hair, I think. Noki, of course, uh, does in reality wear a top hat. <laughs> uh, she probably would be okay with that, too. Uh, I'm gonna assume that's right. Uh, much like Kaida, the lips aren't that full. Uh... Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, again, it's not a statement on you. I'm trying to get it close-ish. It's the personality and clothing, I'm thinking, that are uh, statements on you. Nathan! Uh, her eyes are pretty... That's about right. Uh... Bit caved in on the nose, don't you think? Can I go yeah, bridge? Where's uh whoop? Ah, uh, there we go. Jeez, I don't think anyone's nose is that caved in. That's much better. It's eh, I reduced a little bit. Yeah, it's like a human nose now. 
Uh, face. If it could be a little, well, maybe it's the cheeks. No, oh, need to go to cheeks, don't I? Or where? Are, can I go here? Yeah, okay. I was gonna say it needs to be a little rounder. This is jaw. There's cheeks. Uh, don't know about that. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit better. If memory serves. Need to alter the lips, but yeah, that's a little better. Uh, lips aren't that full. God, it's it's so weird. They go for the wide mouth. That's about right. Why not? Now I need to fucking, uh... Mouth. Oh, okay, there we go. God. Seen that sooner. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Let me see Kaida's real quick here. God, that- Ah, that actually sounds like her! That threw me for a loop. She never says Bazoof Nasca. don't get me wrong, but... Ah. Like, it legit sounded like her... Uh, fucking tone of voice. That's better. Let's get the upper lip here. Can we uh, keep that? Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Back to Noki. <sighs> much like. Am I done with looks? Yeah, I think I'm done with looks. Okay. So, much like everyone else, I need to find clothes that actually fit, and, you know, that she wears. Can I find a hoodie? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Memory serves. She's a, she's a hoodie kind of gal, but, uh, more... Can I... Yeah, that's more like it. If memory serves. Again, you know, if this is inaccurate, feel free to yell at me in the comments section, all of you. I expect to get angry letters relatively soon here. Yeah, she's she's a hoodie kind of girl, if memory serves. I I mean, I have no idea what sort of I also don't think it matters what sort of shirt she would wear underneath the hoodie. But yeah, that's about right. Doesn't wear glasses. Formal Absolutely not. She would fucking fly over from Finland and kill me. God, what would she wear in terms of a formal outfit? She might go the coat, actually. Let's try to avoid duplicating. Oh, God. Rockin' the pantsuit, huh? Uh, how can I... customize this? Maybe? I think she would appreciate a good suit coat. Nice woman's suit. She, she does not at all strike me for the type who would go for... Uh, the short skirt. Maybe not the suit pants either. Maybe, I guess. Maybe she'd go for the dress? Actually, that does seem like her style, now that I think about it. Sort of just low maintenance, comfortable. Doesn't really match the uh, top, though, does it? God, look at that hip hugger. That's ridiculous. I know you can't see my cursor, but this one. Like, yeah, yeah, no, that's just absurd. Ascot? Eh, maybe. Like, perhaps. No, no. I need to be careful about this. Don't want her hunting me down and killing me. I think she would find that comfortable. And I don't think she would give a damn what anyone says. Maybe not the heels. Do we have, uh... Regular ass, like, pumps or flats? Maybe not green, how about... Yeah, I'm gonna assume she's cool with that for formal wear. Because that looks comfy, and she cares about comfy. And it's not like I can get nerd culture in here. Uh, no, she wouldn't wear this. I'm gonna go ahead and assume pants. 
And a shirt game. Come on now. Is there any, uh... Ooh, she would... That's artsy. She'd wear that. Is that one with a burger on it? That's what Fowl would wear. But I don't think that was an option. Yeah, she. I think she'd wear an artsy shirt. So yeah, that's fine. Workout clothes. I'm gonna... You know what? Good enough. I was gonna say, I'll surprise everyone and say, she, much like the rest of us, except for Nathan, don't work out. Doesn't work out. Uh... <sighs> she would resent being in a bikini. Much like I would. Actually, I wish I could be in a bikini. Ah, it'd be awesome if I or Fowl could be in a bikini. Can I? Wait a second. Arms a cheek. Hey, Fowl, what's up? Uh, no, swimwear. Oh, is that Can I bad? get so you old. in a bikini? No, I really can't. Speedo will do. Alright, alright. Back to Noki. There she is. Uh, I was on clothing and we had swimwear. Yeah, I guess. And there's a point where it's like, yeah, like that. I would sheer Kurta. Yeah, absolutely. But I don't have any sim points to the best of my knowledge. Never. Shut up. Fuck off. EA. God. If there was some way I could check my sim points, maybe. Let's see. Lone Wolf, that's a given. Where is Lone Wolf? Loner. It's not Lone Wolf, it's Loner. Thanks, being. I resent that the Loner thing makes them depressed about it. Because there's nothing wrong with being... Well, what is loner? Wait a minute. That might change this depending on what loner is. Spent alone more than spent with others. Quiet, shy, will never approach anyone that isn't a close friend. I prize solitude and get nervous around... Yeah. I'm kind of stuck with that, aren't I? That is... She'll occasionally take a risk. And again, I'm talking about her while she's not here to defend herself. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, I think loner's fair. We met with her taking a risk and uh, getting into, like, a Cards Against Humanity group of friends. Uh, obviously hot-headed. Uh, good? Eh. Uh, uh, find difficulty they love playing with children's toys. So she does have a lot of merch. I don't know how much she reads. Oh, artistic. Duh. Had to give that. Uh, couch potato is possible. She doesn't care for children, but not to the degree Kaida does. And honestly, I think I'm second on that list. Uh, hates outdoors. Not really. Vegetarian. Ugh. Natural gift with musical instruments. She has natural gift with art because she's great at it. No matter what anyone says. She doesn't mooch. Hmm. I'll give her heavy sleeper. Since I imagine she is. I don't know per se. I really only know with Kaida and that's because uh, I'll be up. And uh, when we first were meeting each other, I'd be up at like 7 or 8 and it'd be like, Hey, what's going on? Then at noon, she'd be like, Why are you texting me that early? And I'm like, Because I've been up for hours. And she's like, You're an idiot. <sighs> Clumsy, maybe? Where's Neurotic? I was going to pick Neurotic. It's alphabetized, so it shouldn't be hard to find. Freak out the most minor provocation becomes stressed and easy, difficult to mellow. Take solace in sharing their worries with others. Well, that last part doesn't really share much, but uh... And maybe not neurotic. Slob. Yeah, if uh, what she says on Tumblr is to be believed. Alright. I don't think that's... I'm gonna undo slob, actually. Gonna go with inappropriate, I guess? What's inappropriate? Talk about the wrong thing at the wrong time? No, that's foul. 
That is absolutely foul. I better have given foul inappropriate. Wrong thing, wrong time. Never think to dress. Never apologize when they wrong someone. They enjoy mocking others with harsh words. I mean, that last one's all of us, but... Uh, foul's definitely those first few. Even though I'll never admit it. Uh, do I make her evil, too? She and Kaida are kind of evil. I'll give her couch potato, I guess. Uh... Oh... That's more me. Uh, where's unflirty? Let's see what that is. Unflirty. Do not appreciate romantic advances of others when we be difficult to woo. It's not they don't want love. It's just difficult for them. I wasn't with it until that first part, but... I don't know. That might be getting a little too personal, honestly. The idea is this for it to be fun. Uh, and I really want to annoy Fal more than anyone else here. Fal and Nathan, clearly. And Kaida, to a degree. I don't want to annoy Noki, because... It, it, it doesn't work! I try to annoy her, and she's just like, eh, whatever. And it's like, damn you, react! Fal and Nathan I can get a riling up action out of. Kaida just looks at me like I'm an idiot and sighs heavily, which is enough of a reaction. Noki's just like, yeah, okay. And it's like, that's not good enough. Gah! Uh, I'll give Loves Outdoors. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but, uh, I don't know how accurate that is, but I have seen her take pictures while she's outdoors, so she seems to be alright with nature. There's no, like, saunas. That's unfortunate. Illustrious author. How about just an... But just Master of the Arts. What is that? No, she wants... Where's painting and, like, artistry? Yeah, she wants to be a forensic scientist. Uh, Emperor of Evil, sure, yeah. Um, there's no... Like, painter? Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Um, I guess the illustrious author, then. Which is this one? Nah, that's perfect. Which is off her. Eh, but, eh. It's the painting she wants, not the writing. Uh, Renaissance. True scholars not satisfied with a single subject. No! Think the perfect private aquarium. Mind and body, lap of luxury. Eh. Uh... I also see this is advertised as, or alphabetized as well, so I might go back and make Nathan an international super spy. And make sure I give Fowl inappropriate. Because he'll hate that and it'll be funny. Uh, eh. None of these are quite right because none of them are uh, purely artists. I guess... Illustrious author? Painting and guitar. I think she would rather, honestly, master guitar than master writing. I might have that wrong, but... Uh, eh, that's... Her food. Uh, chocolate's not on here. Uh, oh, she likes fries. Maybe fish and chips. Eh... She likes chocolate and sweets. I'll give her cookies, why not? Indie. Favorite color. Grayish, bluish, I think so, eh. Whoops. Narbo Bazette. Rips on Nuka. Whipsy. Tom Booby Pazzle. Walzo Nagi Boos Kai Krali Unlatse. Chilaki Nagi Boos Kaniya. Sure. Make her an Aquarius, why not? So you need to go back to Nathan real quick, before this episode ends. I know it went a little long, but this is the creation stage, isn't it? Uh, Nathan actually wants to be an international super spy, of course. And Fal, I need to make sure I gave... I think I gave Nathan inappropriate, by mistake. In which case, I'm going to have to change it. Yeah, let's, let's ditch Snob for inappropriate. He'll hate that more. Because it hits close to home. 
be like, no, I'm not. And I'll be like, you kind of are. Like and he'll be like, no, nah, it's an exaggeration. And I'll be like, eh, we only know. a little one. Anyways, uh, what can I get rid of for Nathan? Ah, yes, inappropriate. Uh, and instead replace it with... Uh... A hopeless romantic. No. Um... Insane. Nah, he knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, he's lucky. That... That Nathan. He's a lucky son of a gun. Look at that boy. You don't get to be that successful without a bit of... Yeah, look at that. He's got the lucky coin and everything. Oh, and he wants to be the super spy, duh. Wait, did I... Is Fal still... Foul still. Choose something for Foul. Um, where's Ryder? Uh, professional author. There we go. Yeah, we have everyone still the same, right? I'm uh, I'm the hit journalist. Foul's a hit author, professional author. Nathan's the spy. Kaida's the emperor. Empress. You know, knowing her, she would take the title emperor as well. Emperor of evil. Whoops, I don't need another one. And Noki's artist. I think I said master of arts. Yeah. Okay. The lad. I don't think it's lad per se. It's processing this. Ah, uh, look at us all being scamps there. Yeah, it's not letting me do the family tree like it does in, uh... We're not all... Oh, edit relationships, I guess. We're all roommates. Okay, so... Housemate... Okay. Ooh, we can? We can start off as boyfriends. That would be... Do we all start off as housemates? Yeah, okay. I wonder if we could all be married to each other in, like, one big... Giant... Five pile... But nah, we're all housemates. There's Nathan. A playful scamp. Foul standing. You know what? I imagine that's exactly how Foul takes pictures. Just standing there, not quite sure what to do. That is absolutely how he takes pictures, as far as I'm concerned. But, uh... Yeah! So, thank you for bearing with me in the creation episode. When we come back, we're all gonna move in and get this party started. So... Until then, talk to you later, shrewd negotiators, and see you around Ask Clowns.